Hey everybody, this is uh, Gear Core EDC here. Um, today, this afternoon, second video of the day. Um, I recently did a video on a generous knife that was given to me um, from an eBay seller. Um, great guy, tack driver. Um, a Spyderco Techno clone, which, looking at these two knives, of course, most people can probably see that the one on the right is the clone, due to the monikers and blade insignias on it, but the shape is identical, the, um, Hardware is different. You have a flat head there and button heads on that one. Button heads there. Not sure why this is done with the flat head, but it's done on both sides. So that's definitely a difference. Um, a generous friend from work has this knife and uh, I asked him if I could borrow it um, to do a side-by-side -side comparison the uh, the feel on this is buttery smooth it is just slick just non abrasive um, just feels really really nice um, in hand the finish on this is about equivalent to maybe some thousand grit sandpaper um a little bit of of grip um not sure for purposes um if the grip would be better um but i think i tend to like the the authentic one better um both of them open up the same both of them really really nice they got you hear that click that's just awesome um they look shape wise size wise identical minus the points that i pointed out this being a flat head this being a button head you have the spider co mark and where it says spider co cts xhp and on this one, nothing. On the far side, you have the designer's mark. Or, I'm, I reckon that's the designer's mark and not the maker's mark. Um, I'm not familiar. But then you have where it's made at in Taiwan at the Tai Chung factory. Um, also, you can see that the clip on this is also the same it's nice and smooth and slick for the pocket clip on this one here it's a little it's still fairly smooth I maybe mean, not quite as smooth as the authentic um, but it's also a different color so you can see the color difference but If you were to hand these to me, minus the the feel, um, they're pretty much identical as far as the shape and the look. Um, I believe I'm going to take this one and disassemble it and maybe look at uh, running this through a tumbler um, and stone washing it. Um, maybe to get rid of some of that f grit per se off um, the the marks on the back of the blades are identical I don't know if you can see them there pretty much spot on um, the back of the blade on the authentic is much smoother and polished than that of the 
uh, the clone. Also, this one does have the the blade material stamped in or etched in at D2. Um, and it's a gray backspacer, GTN or plastic. Um, but sort of glad they didn't try to totally steal. You know, the clone knives are a... Uh, a big no-no in some guy's thought process and I can I do understand that I realize the thought process in that um, and to each his own and like I said in a, another video I believe you know um, clones allow men and women who are on a budget and would like a knife because they like the way it looks they like the way it functions, which granted you aren't, you might be able to get the looks right, but the function might not be right, um, you know, due to inferior materials or machining practices, um, it might not work as well as an original, because um, usually with a $150 knife or a $1,000 knife or whatever the case may be, you get what you pay for. Um, the time is there and the time has been put in to machine a precision, precision part um, to where it's just perfect. Hence, people are getting a lot of money for knives. Um, you know, you take a thousand dollar knife and it's got man hours in it and this and that and time and material and such. Um... But I just don't see, you know, I'm a machinist. I work with all kinds of metals, exotic metals, and, you know, a lot of different stuff, tool steels and plastics. And um, besides the cost of material, um, you know, I realize where you would be paying for the, the design, per se. But after they sold so many, that design process has been paid for. Um, so, you know trying to get a thousand dollars for a pocket knife it takes nowhere near that time to fabricate that knife um which granted you know someone making one from scratch in their shop totally handmade per se on a manual machine no programming involved yes there is time involved but when you're uh machining knives with programs and you're doing you know 100 piece lots um, the, there's not much machining time involved. Um, so, you know, some of these exorbitant prices that are on blades these days, um, sort of baffle me. Um, and I, again, I'm not taking away from prices of knives and, you know, people pay. Um, it's sort of like, you know, limited edition runs, you know. They do that so they can charge a premium dollar. Um, sprint runs and, you know, exotic blade materials and stuff. Um, you know, I, I realize things cost money. Um, and I'm not trying to justify buying a clone. Um, this one was given to me. I do have quite a few other clones. Of, um, I have some videos made and I'll be making more. Um, I do not want to be judged, but maybe I'm putting myself out there to be judged, so rightfully so. You know, I hope nobody feels ill will against me. Um, but I'm going to continue to do what I enjoy doing, and I also buy high-end knives also. Do I have $1,000 knives and $2,000 knives? No, I don't. Um, my budget will not allow that. Um... But I have a varied interest. My main interest is in folders. Um, my present interest is in Two Sons and Spydercos. Um, and this is the, of about 15 Spydercos, I think 15, 16, this is the second one that's a clone. Um, and this one was given to me because of an eBay transaction um, a guy wanted to make something right, so he sent this knife to me at no cost, which was great on his part. Um, but anyway, um, that's what I have. 
I wanted to show those. Um, I told this guy I'd get get his real one back to him. Um, you know, this is nice. I like the blue. I like the gray. I think I would like a red or orange backspacer. So this being a clone, I might end up, when I take it apart to do the stone washing, um, I might end up seeing if I can dye that scale. I don't know if I could dye it orange, but I might be able to dye it a, a darker red. Um, but anyway, that is the Spider Co. Techno. The C158, I believe. Um, all right. Thank y'all for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the like button. Put bells on. Leave comments, good or bad. Give me some feedback. Let me know what I'm doing wrong or right. Um, subscribers is what makes YouTube fun. I enjoy chatting back and forth. And I'll try not to get offended if you get angry with me. Um, I just thank you for your taking time to watch my videos. And I hope to continue making videos i don't do editing so this is just shot from the hip um with my cell phone um i i enjoy it and i enjoy showing people what i have an interest in and that's pocket knives um so i'm i'm, I'm in the process i've done a couple videos i haven't been on a routine with it yet but i'm going to try to start a series um of daily carry what did i carry today which means i would have to do a video every day um and i don't know if i'll be able to do that but i'm going to try to so um i did one a week ago or something like that um and i did one today the video that was uploaded before this one um so I'm going to try to start doing a daily carry upload um, to show you what I had in my pocket that day. Um, this sounds interesting. Some of them leave a, a comment say, yeah, I would like to see what you carry. Um, granted, um, I don't, my wife says I have a ton of knives um, and my rotation is limited but i believe if i did that type of series it would allow me to put more knives into my rotation so you guys and girls would not get bored because you wouldn't want to seem to see the same video every day well daggone you've carried the same knife for for a week and a half now um and some you know i've been known to to get one particular knife and that's what i carry um but anyway, um, thanks for watching. God bless America. God bless the world. Um, be with those who are sick and ill. Um, touch them, Lord. I ask that you open someone's heart and allow them to have happiness and feel um compassion for others lord and i give my god all the glory thanks for watching this is garecore edc i hope y'all have a great evening until tomorrow good night